This is my friend Ashley. We're going to go to the park. She's coming over here visiting me. We've known each other for a long time. Tell them about you, Ashley. They don't know who you are. Well, wait, no. They saw you on Skype in... Yeah, that was me. Yeah, that was, that was Ashley. I got my vacuum cleaner fixed, um, and it works, so I'm officially handy. Venus has always loved Ashley very, very much. Because mm -hmm. I've known Ashley for a real long time for... Well, not a real long time, for about six years or so, though. Five or six. Yeah, five or six Ish. years. You and I were discussing the new name for my next dog, should I get one? Mm -hmm. But we're not going to talk about that right now, but it's a pretty cool name because it's kind of the opposite of, like, the other names are real long mm -hmm. of my dogs, except for Venus. Wait, what? Oh, your next dog. Right. Right. And it's just going to be a single letter. Mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe I've said too much. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I guess your dedicated viewers might know the letter. You're a bit of a breed buff, too. I love breeds. Yeah, I mean, you really, you've always been in this your entire life. Yes. What's I, your favorite breed overall? I have a lot. I can't pick one. What, I mean, you know, what, you've got to have one. Okay. I guess Border Collies. And why? Because they're smart. They're a smart dog. So the intelligence is the, the biggest uh, thing that you like in a dog. Well, yeah, I don't want a dog that's going to shed, but the intelligence is worth it. Right. Mm -hmm. I also like Irish Wolfhounds. And what do you like about wolfhounds? Their height. All right, are we going to go to the park or what? Uh, yeah. Ashley has I'll been wanting to play with the dogs, I'll and I'm going to take some time off. Oh, yeah, don't throw it over I'll there. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, God. And they don't care. That's what's so funny about them. Look oh, at them. Go. For me, it's always kind of extra special to see the dogs play from this perspective, because I never get to see that, you know? I never get to actually like see how it looks to other people, other than on camera, I guess, but that's different. Ashley's actually a, a dog groomer too. Um, as a dog groomer, what would you say your, your favorite kind of dog is? Uh, as a groomer? Yeah. A Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. Really? Mm -hmm. That's so interesting. Yeah. As far as my two favorite breeds, I would say, you know, border, I've said this before, but border collies, obviously, and golden retrievers are very close, very up there for me. Um, and they're bright, and they're nowhere near as intense as border collies, generally speaking, but they are the most lovable. If, you, if you're a dog lover and you encounter a golden retriever, you are just immediately in love with them. It's like you are just so, do you know what I mean? And then labs, obviously, are up there. But, you know, I like good old, all-around, hyper-fun-loving fetch dogs and dogs that are really into retrieving naturally. Um, it's just my type of dog. But then, yeah, and then for small breeds, I think Papillons are my favorite. What's your favorite breed? What do you guys like? I'm about to probably make some of you mad with the next sentence that I'm about to say, uh, including Ashley. Now, she happens to be a, a big Elvis fan, and... I don't like Elvis. I don't. I, I find his music to be rather hokey and cheesy. And I don't think he was the revolutionary uh, musician and artist that, that he's made out to be. I wasn't alive during that time, though, so it might be easy for me to say that. But I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm taking a stand. I'm not an Elvis fan. I think you can go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Elvis is the king. Ashley also has a love of Disney movies. What's your favorite Disney movie? And I want you to think about what your favorite Disney movie is because, you know, they're not all the same. And I think we're talking about the classic Disney, because they produce all type of movies, like, mm -hmm. you know, but we're talking about like the traditional. You have, you're making me choose one? Really? Well, yeah, I mean, do you not have, I mean, wait, well, I, I want to ask them what their favorite one is because I, I like The Lion King myself. I think that's my favorite. Let's see. I enjoy The Lion King, but you already said it. Um, Beauty and the Beast. I love Aladdin. I am on my way to see my dad right now. I'm going to film a promotional video for him to post on his YouTube channel or his website or, or whatever um, for his jewelry store that he owns. You know, how funny is this that I have to, like, use a GPS to go to the mall when my dad has literally had that shop for at least 15 years now at that particular location? <sighs> I don't want to go that way. Thank you. I'm talking to my GPS. So, yeah, my, I, I, my email was hacked somehow, and people are getting messages from me to buy Viagra. 
And I look, I don't care if you buy Viagra or not, but I'm not sending you the, the email for that. I, I don't know how that's how that happened. It, it couldn't have been a phishing website because I am over the top cautious about that. I realize that I'm a target for hacking. I also realize how easy it is to, to get a password through spyware and all of that. I mean, I'm just so careful and I take every precaution in the world and it still happened to me. So forgive me for that. Um, if you got an email from me, sorry. I mean, it, it sucks because I have over a thousand people in my address book. And I mean, there are like some very important business contacts in my address book. Uh huh. And uh, and it didn't look right to him, so he didn't open it. Right. He didn't want to get a virus. Right. Yeah. Yeah, which may well happen. I don't know if it's a virus, but I mean, yeah. So if you need Viagra, I sent you a nice link to to some Viagra. No, I don't need that stuff. How come you don't get now? You said one o'clock. Did you not? I said 2 o'clock. No, we said 1 o'clock. No, I think you said 1 o'clock. I said nobody gets in until 2 o'clock. Good. Very good take. Very good. Hi, how you doing? <laughs> I'm good. So you, you got a good dad. <laughs> yeah, I do. That's yeah. true. I'm at the park and for some reason this morning I didn't latch Alpha's crate um, on the way. I don't know. I was just like whatever because it's pressed against the back anyway like right here and he doesn't like push it open even though it's open. I don't know. I just found it amusing. So what? See? It's not. It's actually not going through there and it's not going through here either and it's like he's so excited to get out and he's so amped up that he doesn't but he's used to me like opening it like he doesn't realize he can open it isn't that funny alpha you're supposed to be a smart boy come on let's go there he goes uh -huh. there now he realizes that's so funny i don't know good boy ah, okay yeah all right, guys, come on, let's go, let's go. Today we got a little baseball game. It's good old-fashioned two-on-two baseball. Remember playing this with a kid because it's just not a <laughs> You got four kids between two teams. It's so hard. I was just watching them play. It was bringing back so many memories when I used to be a kid, and you would try and get a baseball game together with not enough kids. Because you really need a good, like, four people per team, I think, to like get a decent neighborhood baseball game going on. But there's like no one to cover the bases. You got two people to cover four bases. So basically every hit turns into a home run. And they're playing with a tennis ball, so it's fine. See, look, here you go. I used to love playing baseball with a tennis ball because it would go so far. And there we go. It's an easy home run. I forgot about the whole issue of self-umpiring. That's always a disaster when you're a kid too. Trying to determine what's a strike and what's not. Right now the kids are debating on whether or not it's okay to steal bases. Do you remember having this debate? It's impossible to throw someone out when you have such a, you know, small team. But yeah, they're just going back and forth over it. And then you never really finally agree on something, so you just kind of steal and sometimes you and then just argue about it like every time. Hey, Dad, throw this, okay? I have no idea what this kid is doing. None at all. I never did that when I was a kid. October's and Sunday, at least where I live in Atlanta, are Arguably my favorite time of year. Sunday in particular because it's football season. Although next week's a bye week, which means Falcons don't play. But 
in general, especially when you have a winning team, the weather is perfect to wear the dogs out so you have the peace of mind knowing you got the dogs tired and you can watch football all day guilt free, at least if you're me. Um, and yeah, I just really, really enjoy this time of year very much. I missed it on camera, the play of the game a moment ago. Like, one of the kids just really connected with the ball, but then a kid out here caught it in the shallow outfield. So, you know, outs, like genuine, authentic outs in these types of games are few and far between. So it's, you know, it's cool when you actually get to see a pop fly actually caught for an out. We just got back from the park and I've been making boiled peanuts overnight. So I put them in the crock pot, put them on low and just, you know, I like boiled peanuts. You may know that from past videos, but you know, boiled peanuts are one of the, they're a southern thing. Certainly nowhere else in the United States is it prevalent though. Maybe you can buy them at the grocery store in a lot of parts. I don't know, like in cans. And those are good, but they're different. They're not like authentic. Because the only authentic way to make real boiled peanuts is to put them in a pot of boiling water and do them yourself or pick them up on the side of the road by someone who's making them. Which kind of makes me curious. What are some regional things that are unique to your part of the world that I haven't heard of? I know I, the first time I ever heard of kettle corn was when I was in uh, the Midwest in Illinois. I'd never heard of kettle corn before. So I, I don't know if that's just unique to their isolated parts of the world or country or whatever. That's like popcorn. They make it and it's different. Um, I'm trying to think of some other examples. What else is there like that are, I don't know. Yeah, what other kinds of foods are there that are really kind of quirky but unique to that part of the world? Do you understand what I'm asking? The Falcons game is over. The Falcons won. Super excited. It makes my entire Sunday when the Falcons win. Uh, Saints lost. Awesome. Go Browns. So, I mean, Browns, they beat the Saints. What's that about? So that was pretty cool. And uh, I'm not going to get too carried away about football, but just know that the Falcons are going to win the Super Bowl this year. And that's all I have to say about that. Number one, baby.